Okay, everyone. Today's video that I have here is actually a couple of videos that I took. Um, probably, oh, two weeks apart. You know, what? one during the day and then like a week or two later at night um, of uh, some strange stuff I saw in the sky. Now this first one was probably around oh, 5.30 p.m. I uh, had stepped outside. I was going to walk down to my mailbox and <clears throat> I looked up in the sky and I saw with, with the naked eye, without, you know, um, zooming in with a camera or binoculars or anything like that, I saw this bright, shiny, um, what I thought was one of those Mylar balloons, you know, like one that says happy birthday or something on it like that. And uh, so I'm just kind of looking at it as I'm walking, I glance up and look at it and walk to my mailbox and then... I noticed as I was looking at it, two other smaller lights came out of it and took off. And I thought, well, that's strange because I had thought it was just a single large balloon reflecting the sunlight up there. And um, when the two smaller lights left it and took off faster from that area, leaving that larger one behind, that's when I thought, oh boy, I better get my camera and see if I can zoom in and take some photos of this thing. And as you see here in the first photo, that, and it was, let me tell you, um, I also have video of this that you're going to see, and it's nothing spectacular. Let me tell you right now, man, it was difficult difficult to um record that thing i couldn't get it to focus um hardly at all and i couldn't find it in the viewfinder I mean, it's really difficult to do but i did manage to get it recorded and it's jumping all around because i couldn't hold my hand steady with it zoomed in i had it you know extremely zoomed in so the slightest movement with your hand you, you know will cause whatever you're, you know, zoomed in on to jump all over the place. And I didn't have time to set up a tripod or anything. I just, you know, wanted to get this before it left. So that's why the, the video quality on both of these videos I'm going to show isn't that great. But I did pull out my, I got like a Nikon that can really zoom in like crazy, uh, you know, still camera. And that's where I got these still shots. And so you see this first one here, it looks kind of weird. Um, you know, I don't know what that is, um, but that is what I zoomed in on and took a photo of. And um, here, this next uh, photo of it, it was just hanging up there. It wasn't really moving through the sky. It was just slowly turning up there. And this is another angle of it. And it looks quite bizarre, doesn't it? I mean, it could be some kind of fancy mylar balloon of some sort, but I've never seen anything like it. Um, so yeah, that that is it right there. Um, and then I also included in here, uh, this photo here is what it looked like not zoomed in. So that's what I saw more or less with my naked eye before I zoomed in with the camera was this bright, shining thing up there and then i saw two smaller lights basically come out of it and leave the area leaving this thing here behind and then that is what i ended up zooming in on and as you saw there um i don't know you tell me what it looks like it looks like it like some kind of a weird spaceman doesn't it yeah it's probably a balloon you know um but I don't know that for sure. Um, so I just share it with you so you have um, something to make up your own mind about. And um, here, and again, please don't judge me um, on the quality of the, the video. Um, I, I couldn't hold the camera steady and I couldn't 
zoom in on it. Classic, right? Classic, you know, filming with a potato. People will say, oh, yeah, what'd you do? You know, record this thing with a potato? <laughs> yeah, it's a potato camera. <laughs> and I'm a potato head. I'm sorry. But here you go. And then after this video clip plays, then I'll show you something else I did at nighttime. That's really kind of weird also. Okay, now here is what uh, I guess about a week and a half, two weeks later, um, took my dog out into the backyard. He's gonna, you know, go to the bathroom out there, and um, you know, now I'm looking at the skies and stuff, right? Um, and I see not high up in the sky, but far off in the distance above some trees this red light kind of pulsating, just kind of going on and off, on and off. Now, as you know, conventional aircraft, they have the, the red and green, you know, navigation lights, even on helicopters, airplanes, what have you. They'll also have a, a white light, um, you know, front headlight or whatever up in front. This thing was just a single red light that was going on and off, kind of pulse, pulsing. And this object, as I was watching it, it wasn't, it was just going in a big circle kind of slowly. And it was a kind of a long ways away. And I'm going to show the video, I'm showing, I'm going to show the video recording here. Um, of it um as you see here right right now you're just looking at the red light when it was at its brightest uh, it's a still photo of it there I'll, I'll show you the video of it it again it's horrible uh you can't really see it the camera's jumping all over the places even it was tough during the daytime with that one object i just showed you i mean it was nearly impossible at night because my camera didn't want to lock on to anything at night i just got to you know, my camera's like 15 years old, you know, but you watch the video and, um, you'll see that. And then I'm going to explain something. I got a still photo of it 
and it's really kind of kind of interesting Okay, you've seen that, that video, the horrible video. So I got my Nikon still camera out again, and it has a setting on it that can take pretty good nighttime shots, you know, um, without any light at all. It takes really good pictures of like stars and stuff. And um, so I zoomed in like crazy on the pulsating light and I just started taking photos um, you know hoping I would get something and I did get this one and I don't know this is the object that was pulsating the red on and off take a look at it you know what do you think what, what do you what do you think that is I you know I don't think it's a helicopter or a plane or a drone that you could buy at the store because if this thing is huge, it's got to be huge because of the distance that I zoomed in from. I mean, this thing was probably, I, I don't know, two miles away, a mile away, maybe. Yeah, maybe a mile away, maybe about a mile away. I don't know. I'm not good with distances, but it was a long ways away. Okay. And um, so forget that I said a mile or two away. It's just a long way out there. And was just a pretty large red flashing light. So maybe maybe it is a, a drone. I don't know. Whatever you think. Um, I don't know. I share it with you because it's unusual. And heck, I got all excited when I took these videos and photos. So here you go. Uh, this was just, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago in the skies over Los Angeles. I live down here in L.A., Southern California. And, um, tell me what you think. Um, I did talk about something. One more thing I wanted to add that, and I don't have any photographs or video of it, but back in 2015, I saw the full on black triangles, you know, the, the classic that people talk about. Um, I, I made a report of that here on my YouTube channel somewhere. If you dig around, probably just see me like playing video games and acting like an idiot. But somewhere, if, if you can't find it, just ask me again in the comments. Say, yeah, tell us about the black triangle, you moron. And I'll do that. So anyways, uh, thank you. Out.